How's it going guys? Welcome back for week two for what's going to be our first user game against Middle Tennessee State. It's going to be the battle of the 1-0 teams. Middle Tennessee State was coming off a big win in the first game of the year was they passed the lights out. So Akron's defense is going to have to stay disciplined and make sure they can hang with their mans or else we are going to find ourselves losing quickly. The Mid-Tennessee State Blue Raiders are led by Logan Kilgore, their quarterback. You can see here hitting the running back out of the backfield for, for a pretty big gain. First drive of the game is going pretty well here. Screen pass to the left side, but Lardy's going to stop him short. Third and 14 coming up for the Blue Raiders. Akron's defense answers well to a first initial punch from the Blue Raiders offense. Kilgore takes a snap, drops back to pass. He's looking down the field, can't find a man open, and he's going to get sacked, bringing up fourth down. The Blue Raiders will punt it away there. So Akron's first possession, we're going to try to run to the left side, getting Juwan Chisholm established. He had room to run, couldn't get around his blockers in time. Mid-Tennessee State closed quickly, and they would shut that down. So third and seven coming up. Clayton Moore drops back to pass. Tries to hit his man on the out route, but Price can't come up with a catch. We definitely need to recruit some more short-handed receivers so that we don't have this drop itis coming around constantly. Next drive there for the Blue Raiders. Kilgore hits his receiver on the slant route. Takes it for about 25 yards. Quickly approaching, approaching the red zone now. Kilgore hands it to the left side. Running back stiffs arms a man. Breaks the tackle. He's going to pick up nine yards. Bringing up third and one. One play later. Fourth and inches for the Blue Raiders. Going to go for it. But Akron's defense is going to stop the carry short of the first down. Great stop by Akron's defense. And now we got the ball back. Second and ten here for the the zips and he's going to hit Avante Dunn on the slant route. The freshman is going to pick up the first down. Two plays later it's going to be third and seven for the zips. Chisholm's motions out of the backfield. Hits tight end Lardrax, Ladrock, but doesn't matter what his name is because he dropped it anyway. So we would punt it away there. Last play of the first quarter for the Blue Raiders. Akron defender comes out on the edge. The corner is going to make the sack. They would wind up punting on that possession. So still 0-0 here in a tight defensive game. Clayton Moore is going to get sacked on second and one play action. They were not fooled at all. So third and six here. Clayton Moore is going to try and make something happen. He's going to throw the ball down the field. Throwing his man open. Ledrock makes the catch that time. Very, very nice catch. But that drive would amount to nothing and we would punt it away. So Kilgore drops back to pass here. He's going to get sacked by Akron's defense again. We're getting pretty good pressure. They're still moving the ball pretty well, but overall, very, very even game up to this point. So Kilgore drops back to pass on third and 19. Throws it down the field, nearly intercepted. His man had a chance at it as well. We would punt on our next possession, though, bringing up the Blue Raiders again on offense. First and 10. Beautiful pass by Kilgore to his receiver along the sideline, who makes the catch less than a minute remaining in the first half. Kilgore's going to try to scramble away. He's going to get pulled down for the sack. He had room to run if he could evade that one tackler. So Kilgore here on second 11. Hits the running back out of the backfield. Picks up about nine yards. They're now in good field goal range. Going to bring the pressure here, but field goal range wouldn't matter because Kilgore's going to hit his receiver over the middle. Akron's defense can't stop him. And the mid-Tennessee State Blue Raiders are going to take a 7-0 lead right going into halftime. So Akron, not liking the whole 7-point deficit. They're going to try and make something happen on offense. Clayton Moore is going to hit the fullback Rossi out of the backfield. He's going to have a pretty good gain, considering it was the fullback involved. So now 3rd and 10 coming up. Clayton Moore drops back to pass. Looking for a man. He tries to hit Avante Dunn, but he can't make the catch. So many drops going on in this game here. Kilgore drops back to pass on Blue Raiders' next possession. He's going to get picked off by Alexander. That might have been the big play we needed to get back in this game because our offense is struggling mightily. Clayton Moore here, second and eight. He's going to hit Avante Dunn, who's going to redeem himself for that drop, and he's going to take it in for the touchdown. He's going to knock things up here about halfway through the third quarter. So the Blue Raiders are going to try and answer here on offense. Game tied 7-7. Kilgore is going to get strip-sacked, but awarely his offensive lineman picks it up. They will keep possession of the ball. Third and 17 coming up. Kilgore is going to look for a man. Scramble to the right side. He throws it. It is caught. Beautiful throw by Kilgore. Nice adjustment by the receiver. And they pick up a first down. Third and ten. Two plays later for the Blue Raiders. Man comes free. He's going to make the sack of Kilgore. And they would punt it away. 
Two and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter. Hits the receiver Sconiers over the middle. Third and three coming up for the Zips. Trying to run it for the first down, but Chisholm is wrapped up quickly by the Blue Raiders defense. Juwan Chisholm here is going to take the carry to the right side and a beautiful touchdown. Great blocking. He didn't even have to really work that hard. And Akron Zips will take a 14-7 lead. Less than a minute remaining in the third quarter. So Kilgore here almost intercepted. They had wound up punting away on that possession. Clayton Moore coming out on the first down here. Chisholm to the left side. Breaks the tackle. About a nine-yard carry there. He's working hard for his yards, but he's getting them. So into the fourth quarter we are now. Clayton Moore, play action pass. Looking for a man. Looking downfield. Beautiful pass to the tight end along the sideline. He was just waiting there, waving his arms like, Moore, look at me, I'm open. Next possession, we're going to try and run the ball on third down. Nothing happening. We're just going to kick the field goal, try and take a 10-point lead. Every possession counts in a game that's as close as this one has been. Our kicker nails it. 17-7 to seven zips. Four and a half minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Blue Raiders coming out on offense, third down. And Kilgore is sacked again. The Zips defense comes up with it. In our mind, this should be the icing drive if we can pick up a couple first downs. But the Blue Raiders defense is hounding Jawan Chisholm, not letting him go anywhere. So third and 11, Clayton Moore is just going to try and throw it up to get a play to pick up a first down. He's going to throw an interception. A terrible place for one, but not the worst place because we still have a two-possession lead. Third and six coming up here. Kilgore hits his man over the middle. They are now in decent scoring range. First and ten coming up for the Blue Raiders. Kilgore drops back to pass, looking for a man, scrambling to the right side. He's going to elude the defender, and he's inside the 10-yard line, that down to about the 5. Second and goal coming up for the Blue Raiders. Hands off to the left side, but Akron's defense is ready for that one. They're going to wrap him up. Third and goal coming up. Throw to the left side. The fullback can't come up with a catch. That was a touchdown there. And the Blue Raiders take the good football play, and they get the field goal. Minute 43 remaining, they go for the onside kick. Trying to get possession back to tie this game up. But the Zips were ready for it. They recover. Second and seven. We're gonna, we have to get a first down to end this game. Chisholm breaks a tackle. Gets knocked out of bounds though. But still would be enough to win the game. Hard fought game overall. Zips played well. Mid-Tennessee State played well. Just It came down to one or two mistakes that could have gone either way. It was a very hard fought matchup. Overall, very happy with the result. Akron takes a 2 nothing record going into week 3. No more user games for a while, but I will see you guys next week.